Welcome to Florida Men on Florida Man with Josh Mills and Wayne McCarty, the podcast where Floridians discuss the legends, lore, and crazy story that always seem to take place in Florida. Florida. Wow. Just one story. One Just story. one story, huh. the story of our Lord and Savior, Jesus uh, Christ. Amen. 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 Uh, sorry for preaching. witnessing to our yeah. agnostic. Never be sorry. Okay. Go out and e- evangelize, right? Isn't well, here's the, the thing. Amen. We did evangelize, and we landed a brand new young boy on the show. Oh, yes. Luke. Fresh out the womb. Fresh out of the womb. Fresh out of the youth group. How are you, man? I'm good. How are you guys? I'm very good. Thank you for looking over here yeah, and acknowledging me. The last guest we had, I feel like acknowledged you 80% more than me, actually. Yeah, mm-hmm. it was nice. It felt it felt good uh, to be seen. I don't know. Right. It just he, does. The last guy we had on, Craig Pittman, um, he was he was a daunting expert, um, and he said the next person that comes on has to fist fight him. Oh, dang it. Yeah, like out in the parking lot after the show, which right. is really intimidating. I've been training. Because, oh, okay, good. Yeah. Craig, right. come on in, actually. <laughs> there he's, you go. he's intimidating. But yeah, Luke's here. Uh, he said he is going to dominate the podcast. I think that was the word yeah. you said. Yeah, most it, amount of words said on the podcast. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so. No, no. Most <laughs> amount of words said. <laughs> All right, so tell me this. Um, you said earlier today that you had brought some of the best headlines anybody's ever heard and that one of the headlines from Georgia. Yeah, I just, I'm not from Florida. Sorry, guys, but I am Spoiler. from Georgia. Yeah. So my last headline is one that's close to home. So yeah. Well, Florida's close to Georgia, so uh, yeah, I'm yeah, gonna let close. Josh make the call on that. So do your first couple headlines when we yep. get to Georgia. Right. He's either gonna do this, a big uh-huh. X, or he's gonna go two thumbs two up, thumbs and up. that means you can do the Georgia one. If I'm honest, I'd prefer at the end of the story, these stories or headlines, if you let us guess which one was a Georgia. That's headline. great, actually. That's really good. Well, I don't think that's really gonna work out for the other two, but <laughs> okay, well, let's I'll, go. I'll still ask you. That's what we decided. We control the show, and here yeah. we go. All right. Okay, so as the bare naked ladies would say, it's been one week. Okay. <laughs> Let me tell you guys. <laughs> All yes. right. Yeah. Well, lots this guy's of news got jokes. and lots of stories. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> speaking of the bare naked ladies, God bless. a bear was spotted swimming at the beach in Destin, Florida. No. Okay. Uh-huh. Yeah. This sounds like fantasy. It's not Why, fantasy. Though? Okay. Beachgoers were shocked to look at the horizon and see a bear cub swimming in the ocean right towards them. Okay, oh, okay, so it's a cub, or did you say club? A cub. <laughs> okay, I could come here. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> no. Okay, so they're swimming. Uh, they're at the beach. They're hanging out, and yeah. they look out, and they see a bear in the ocean. Yeah, it's like a scene from Jaws. But if Jaws was a bear and hairy, and it was called Claws. Okay. Wow. Ah, this guy. Uh, he had that loaded. I guarantee you. We that specifically yeah. said, <laughs> it's loaded. "Don't write jokes," and he did yeah. it anyways. Uh, no, okay, so I just want to say, I know you said it's a, it's a cub. Mm-hmm. Some folks may try to go, what's the big deal? It's a baby bear. Right. But put yourself uh, yep. in these white people's shoes. If mm-hmm. you look out in the ocean and you see a bear, it doesn't matter what size it is. That's intimidating. Well, the people started like, w- swimming out to it to like try and help it, I guess. No, no, the mom is always around. Uh, there is no mom around. Underneath? Exactly. Was, he, nowhere to be seen. Oh, th- yeah, that's the thing. It was you a, don't see the mom. An adult you don't see the mom part. coming. I know. Yeah. You never do. So what happened? It's, oh, it started swimming closer. People ran out, tried to help it. But then it just didn't need any help. No, it just it's a bear. Got in the sand. Okay. And then just booked it towards the dunes and the buildings. Yeah. Oh. No one's seen it since. <laughs> There's wow. no follow-up. <laughs> okay. Well, that's concerning. You think you'd yeah. like point at one person. Isn't that the rule? Yes. Hey, you follow that bear. Right. Every right. community has a bear follower. Yeah. And but I will say this, I learned this in Bible school. Mm. I'm sorry. It's just that God has taught every animal already how to swim. Right. So why mm. would these heathens not know that? They go out there trying to help this bear. God's already done the work. He knows okay. how to swim. He or she knows how to swim. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Atheist beach. Honestly, Atheist I tried this whole time I wasn't listening. I was trying to think of an animal that can't swim. And I couldn't. <laughs> I, I, I thought of a fish first. God is oh, real. He's God, not dead. Swim. Part no. four, yeah. right here on the show. Yeah. Okay, so the bear is missing. No one's seen Bear's it missing. since. No one's hurt. What no town is injured. this, though? Destin, Florida. And they're not sleeping at night. Yep. Yeah. Could you imagine knowing if someone called in right now and said, in Lakeland, Florida, there's a bear that's missing, I wouldn't sleep well. I wouldn't no. go outside to take my garbage out at nighttime. Yeah, no. No, I wouldn't. But I don't have a house full of porridge, right? Oh, I, I see do. what you're saying. <laughs> Do you think Goldilocks, now I want to get sidetracked, do yep. you think she was a bit of a pervert? Because who else do you know that would break into a home 
and then just like, let me try a little seat, try a little eat, try a little sleep. Well, Josh did that to me last week. Oh, BS. He did. Oh, wow. He knocked okay. on my door 2 a.m. in the morning. Okay. That okay. I need a good seat. <laughs> yeah. Said, okay. okay. He sat on my couch. He uh, said, too lumpy. Is this <laughs> written down too? No. Because it's that, real like life. Yeah. Why would I have to um, do that? Well. Well, Luke did say beforehand that he wrote down some jokes, and yes. he goes, if I don't use some, I'm going to show you in between the segments which ones I didn't use. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are a lot of bad ones. So <laughs> there's a there's just a bear in Destin, Florida. Loose. Yeah, just loose. Nobody's ta- nobody tagged it or anything? Air tag? Can't you air tag a bear? No, there you are can. lots of videos you of can. it, though, You can and you can't. Yeah. It's interesting because I feel like the cops are always around when you don't want them to be. Mm. Right. But when there's a bear on the loose, not a cop in sight. No. Yeah. yeah. You see what I'm saying? On other yeah. calls. Come on. Who's going to shoot that bear? Not me. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, another fun part I thought were the headlines trying to make it seem fun. Yeah. And I picked out my two favorites. Okay, please. Yeah, yeah please do. Yeah. One. yeah. First one was bear becomes beach bum in Florida, cools off in the Gulf surf. Hate it. Wow, that's a, a lot. Too, a little too worried. Yeah, yeah, what's the next one? Yeah. Uh, bear beats the heat, takes a dip in Florida Beach. I like that. Oh, I don't like that either. I feel, okay, can you, do you have I feel the, like it fell off a ship or something. Like a bear ship? Oh, yeah, because nobody saw it go out. Oh. That's true. It just appeared. That is interesting, yeah. dude. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't mess with nature or animals or anything of that, of, yeah. you know, of the like. So I just feel like the moment I sense something is, is off, I leave. I run. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if I was there hypothetically with my wife and kids yeah. and I see a bear, I wouldn't have any idea where it went, what happened. I would grab everything and just leave. Of course. Yeah. You don't want to make the headline, uh, Cub Massacres Beachgoers. Right, because right. it's coming so slowly at you. Cub yeah. Massacres. Well, it's like just building up energy. Yeah. Mustachioed model or something. Oh, well, there, yeah, if there's one there. Yeah, yeah. or like yeah. Cub <laughs> yeah. uh, Massacres Real Strong Man yeah, with a podcast or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. or yeah, something. Who there, knows? But. Yeah, who knows what they would say. <laughs> All right. Well, headline number one, I'm going to vote at on a scale of 1 to 10. Yeah. yeah. We've ne- never done this before. I'm going to give it 8.5. Okay. I think it's a pretty yeah. good headline. I'm going to say that one was in Florida. <laughs> yeah, what do you think it happened? Oh, Florida. Okay, yeah, Florida. Yeah, because you said the city. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I memorize every Florida city. Of course yeah. I know that. Yeah, of yeah, course. Well, yeah. speaking of a flesh-eating disease, Come a on. Florida man gets you. flesh-eating infection from a human bite during a family fight. <laughs> This guy with his rhymes. Uh, That's just the headline. That is the headline? Okay. Okay. So uh, someone got a disease because uh, someone bit him. That had the disease. Wow. Patient zero had it in the mouth and then chomped it. And it was a combination of whatever was on the skin. Yep. And they're oh, you're spoiling it, but yeah, am I? Wow, yeah. science. Go ahead yeah. and go ahead and so, give us what uh, the uh, fake news said yeah. about yeah. it. Yeah, so Mr. Donnie Adams, a 53 year old funeral assistant from Tampa, oh, oh wow, oh, shit. Uh, was yeah. rushed to the hospital in February for a bite on his upper left thigh the size of a dollar coin. Come which on, I, which, tiny I mouth. Mouth. which I thought, who knows what a dollar coin looks like anymore? Yeah, I don't, yeah, about it's like a bad that. Reference, it's about like oh, that. You. Yeah, I keep, I guarantee you, if I threw a dollar coin at it, it would just stick right there. Oh, that's all, not in the mouth oh no in the thing that you did with your hands well yeah i would but i also i'm directionally challenged so i keep one in my pocket when i don't know which way to turn i just bing flip it up catch it turn it left see what i'm saying heads for right tails for left that's nothing you didn't do nothing we should get this guy compass (laughs) no okay so this guy's a funeral director yeah yeah and he gets bit on the upper thigh that's hot and then honestly yeah he goes to the hospital he gets meds he gets a tetanus shot and Been a few there, days baby. later, his leg just gets more red and swollen. Come on. So they say it looked like an orange peel. Ew, Ugh, gross. gross. Pandering. I know. <laughs> so he decided. It's a Florida story. He decided <laughs> to go back to the hospital. Big citrus. Yeah. He was like, hey, guys, I don't think this is done. Yeah. And luckily, they were able to perform surgery on it. Leg did not have to be amputated. Just That's die. Praise, praise God. Well, just die. So he got the bottom. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Attached it. I. So, dude, it was a fight, you said. Yeah. Um. What kind of move is that? You know how limber you got to be to like get to someone's crotch, get to someone's like near midsection, like upper leg, yeah. and get a dollar size bite out of it. That's yeah. a good chunk. That's a good chunk yeah, of meat. They, there was yeah. teeth marks like all around. They could tell it was a bite. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah. So it wasn't just one lucky bite. Yeah, and like it's, it was what you were saying. Like the flesh eating disease is like an actual thing. Yep. It's called uh, necrotizing. I ac- don't like that. Acidus. No, I don't like that or at something all. Like that, and it uh, it can grow in your mouth. Cool. And it happens when you have strep sometimes. Ew. Oh, and I had strep one time. Yeah. It, it can get on your that's body painful. and it's fine usually. Yeah. But when you're biting and it gets deep in the muscle, that's what happens. So the the guy that got bit, the guy that I assume bit a him, guy had, bit him. Probably had strep. Yep. Yeah. Ew. Yeah. And just took a chunk. Gross. That's yeah. so And nasty. this is a family. Yeah. Cool. Did the family member go to jail? 
Well, they asked him about the fight, and he said he's not telling any details. And I like that. He said he said yeah. family is everything, and sometimes sometimes things go down in families. No, they shouldn't like that though. I don't know, <laughs> not man. Not in my family. <laughs> no. So I've got four grandmas, and one of them used to always yeah. say to me, like, "Just get snitches." Right. What was the first part? Snitches. I can't. Uh, yeah, I'm not allowed to say it. Oh, uh, it witches not, get snitches. Because the audio yeah. podcast heard snitches. Yeah, it was a yeah. self edit because it takes me too long oh, in okay. post to edit it. <laughs> right. So I, when 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 bad things would happen to me at functions, yeah. I would never tell because I didn't want stitches. Yeah. Does that that's make right, sense? Yeah. So I feel like something here happened where someone said that hurt you, but you you're not gonna tell nobody, right? right? Yeah. And so they just told the news, yeah. no one else. So yeah. if you saw the bear, you wouldn't say anything about it. Lips are sealed. <laughs> Wouldn't say nothing. Yeah, good man. I'm going to guess Florida because Tampa. <laughs> Josh? Uh, Florida also. It's Florida. Yeah. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10, man, because I love a good yeah. zombie lore. I, I love a good family fight and a bite. And crazy. I'm just choosing not to participate in the rating oh, system. Oh, I have to do something each me. episode to Florida. kill like, the downtime. Oh, uh, out of 10? Yeah. Florida? Florida out of 10. Well, this story happened in February, but no one really reported about it until now. Because the g- he's yeah. not a narc. Yeah, he's yeah. not a narc. I respect that, yeah. man. Come on. So, first story, Florida bear. Okay. Second story, Florida man. Sure. And now I'm a Georgia boy. We'll see. So, uh, all right. Hold on. He hasn't given permission yet, uh, Josh. Okay, let's hear so it. So, may I please bring you a headline from the Peach yes. State? Yeah. Okay. Since we did an oopsie sode right. recently, this is a you're still in the, uh, the yeah. window. In the grace period. Well, this one's close to home. It, I'm going to guess Georgia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> Josh, you want to guess now or guess later? No, later. I want to hear okay, okay. Yeah, Don't steal my answer. So uh-huh. I, I, I have a bit of backstory before the headline. Here we go. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's hear all about <laughs> it. Everyone this tells is where he plugs. Tell this is where he plugs. Summer camp. He plugs so everything. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a candle line that I'm yeah. working on. Um, so imagine this. Okay. <laughs> oh. Murder what? <laughs> Me. Uh, hold I'm on. Getting <laughs> Right. I'm getting. I'm ready. I'm oh, sorry. Go ahead. Okay. Go ahead. Imagine this college freshman, Luke West. It sounds really hot. Has just moved a whole 20 minutes away to college for the first time. Okay. Scary. Uh, he was freshly broken up. <sighs> he was freshly back in braces, and he knew no one at college. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Stud. Um, so I'm. So at, the I'm, frats were fighting over. Yeah. You. Well, the I, first I, the first round of braces didn't take. Nope. <laughs> what? How's and that? The, the second round <laughs> draw was just like. <laughs> the second yeah. round didn't take either. So. Oh. <laughs> no, wow. you have beautiful teeth. No, I got this gap. No, no bro. Oh, I thought that was intentional. Be nice to my friend me. Luke. All right. Uh, so I went to Kennesaw State University. Yeah. Okay. And they had a local newspaper. Of course. And I was like, I'm a loser. So I was like, oh, I'm going to read the newspaper. Okay. <laughs> I put it by my door. Sure. And the headline, top of the page, KSU student arrested after foot touching. Oh, yes. wow. <laughs> wow. Okay. In that moment, I knew I'd choose the right college. Yeah. A hundred percent, man. I went to a university called Southeastern. Yep. And go fire. They did hmm. right. And they would do feet washing services. Uh, so you go to a service and and yeah. the, the leader of the school, the yeah. king of the pastors would wash yeah. your feet. Yep. Uh, in the service. So this is kind of similar, actually. Uh, it's kind of similar. But they didn't write a story about it at Southeastern, but here they did. Right. So we have uh, Mr. Eric Riera. Mm. Come on. Name and shame. Name and shame. <laughs> name and shame. Gets, the he, foot he, he gets name uh, and shame. This isn't the victim. I thought following, it was the victim. Following a swift investigation, it was reported that he was playing footsies with girls in the library. You can't do that kind of stuff. Yeah. How do you, what, how do you make the first move, though? Well, the first girl... Was minding her own business. Yep. It's eleven o'clock at night at the library. Yeah, you say knock knock. My Nerd. foot's here. She wa- he walks over, uh-huh. empty library, chooses the Ew. seat right next to him. That's rude. She's That's like, rude. okay, it's a little. You weird. can't do that. And no. then she looks over and notices his shoes are off, mm-hmm. and she's like, okay, I'm just gonna continue on my work. No, ma'am. This, and no. she looks down again and realizes that his foot's inching closer to hers. Oh, and I, yeah, I can see I, it. Yeah. I can walk my foot can over. Visual, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, and I, ew. Oh, yeah. what? No. Like that? Yeah. Like that? Well, oh. at, at this moment, and I yeah. couldn't find the video anymore. Mm-hmm. But she started. Well, you had a video? She started taking a video of it. Ew. Of gross. just him inching I would towards throw up. And then she runs to go find campus police. Okay. So there was no indecent touching? She, he was able to touch a little bit, you know. But she tweets this <laughs> in yeah. the picture. This is and so before weird. she could even get to campus police, p- girls are replying. And they're like, he did the same thing to me. Oh my no, gosh. No, serial footage. There was, yeah. there was a total footage of like 10 to 20 yeah. like wow. women who he's been playing footsies with. No, that's nasty. Gets I'm the campus police. Sh- this sounds like a Georgia story. It is a Georgia story. Th- this would not. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, sorry. Cool. Spoiler. I feel like he should have been tased. And I, if I were on the board of oh, like punishment. That. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, she I, I beat that man. That's what I would say. He'd love that too. Yeah, she, he would. She went to the campus police and she was brushed off at first. 
And oh, the, really? the, that bothers me. The, yeah. He said they shoot her away. <laughs> he said, I yeah. guess I guess yeah. getting your stuff and moving away would have been too hard for you to do. Are you what? kidding me? That's a quote. Wow. What's the school? In Qu- Kennesaw State University. Go out. Victim owls. blaming. The wow. security Hootie victim. Hoo. Shame on them, dude. Yeah. Shame on those old white men. Yeah, you but know they are. Right, right after that, yeah. they went to go arrest him. Well, yeah. And he was charged Bro, get with out of two here. counts of simple battery. <gasps> did they handcuff his feet? I, I hope so. He yeah. probably liked that, though. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> he did. But he was released on bond after paying bond for $4,300. Wow, so that's how much per touch. So think about it next time, Wayne. Yeah. Don't, don't, <laughs> po- no. when you yeah. don't you point at me. Yeah. I will say this, though. Uh, this gentleman uh, who did this, did he stay on campus? Was he able to stay at the school and finish his higher education? I do not know. I know his Instagram is private because I tried to look really? for it. Let's go. What's and his I, name? I remember Eric Riera. What I, a yeah. pervert. I tried, I tried looking for the, the Twitter post of the video. I remember watching it yeah. when it first happened. Yeah. Um, yeah. Podiatrist well, now. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I will say that <laughs> we don't kink shame on this show, right. but you can't do that kind of stuff without getting permission. Right. Yeah. And and I think like when you're a pervert and you do that sort of stuff and then someone has to go to security and security blows them off. That's just a cycle, a systematic. It just sucks, man. Like mm-hmm. security sucks. Yeah. Eric um, Riera sucks. Yeah. And I think shame. I'm glad that we're naming shaming. The him. technique yeah. sucks too. The side by side. 100%. Right. No, I can do the head on. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. Or be under the desk already. And yeah. Well, it's hard, tough to go feet first. Under but the can you desk. imagine somebody under the desk like this? <laughs> yeah. Just like hiding May out. I please? And then you yeah. sit down to like study and they're like, mm-hmm. yeah, they lock you in toast. Yeah. I, I don't just, like it. I can't imagine calling my parents for that crime. Yeah. I would make up so many different crimes. I would, I would jump off the roof of the gym. <laughs> Yeah, before I called my dad and said, "Hey, oh, man, oh, you were posing as Eric." Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. I had to pay four hey, grand because I'm a pervert. What, what did you get arrested for? Exactly. Yeah. When I was in college, this is a true story. Um, probably like the last semester that I was on campus, um, we found a baby alligator out in the mm. lake and brought him inside. Put him in the shower to save for later, just to kind of like be a fun thing to show people. It's not the same water though. Different water. It is different water. Yeah. And. Uh, the RA, the like the, kind of the king student who lives in the hallway and tells yeah. you what to do. Yeah. Uh, he came in the bathroom to go potty yeah. and the alligator was in the showers. <laughs> and and I had it? to call my dad and go, yeah. Hey man, like I need bad more, news. Bad news, I need more money. <laughs> yeah. Um but that's as nasty as I got in yeah. college, you know yeah. what I mean? Like, so I don't know, dude. I think uh, if I had to give it a rating, I'm gonna because it makes me so upset, I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. Okay. 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 If I'm Mr. Ribiera's uh defense, right. Okay. Uh he's got restless leg syndrome. Wow, you think I, I think I got that too. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, they're wandering. <laughs> hey, fella. Joshua. Oh, hello. So we've got a special guest here. Come Luke. on. Mill no model. That's um, yeah, true. I was kind enough uh, uh, to toss out an olive branch and say, hey, guys, study up on your Luke's. Because I'm going to quiz you on them. That's right. Usually right. the quizzes are a surprise. Yeah. And yeah. I, I take everything Josh says so seriously. So I believed him. Yeah. So I said, uh, uh, Luke, Uncle Luke. Yep. The hip hop artist, Luke Perry. That's right. I, 90210. All my search engine already set, all my Luke Perry links are already purple. <laughs> hey, man, baby. So I didn't have to do a yeah. lot of research there. I believe it. Yeah. So, um, but before I start the quiz, let me start with a short bio about Luke here. Oh, about me. Our guest, yeah. Luke. Oh, yeah. perfect. Um, Luke is gentle, uh-huh. <laughs> uh, sensitive, soul, yeah. Yeah. Uh, bubbling with enthusiasm. Come on. Uh, keen to work as part of a team. Like many fellas full of steam, there are times when he <laughs> may want to run away and be left alone. Uh, he may not be quick to stick up for himself either, but when there is someone in need, Come on. Luke is passionate right. about showing how much he values his friends. Yes. And will bravely heave into action without second thought. Did Come you get on. this from my Tinder? Oh, I got it from somewhere. Okay. From your yeah. grinder. Right, Early in answer. life, <laughs> Luke went to live on an island where he expected to live in paradise, but instead he hid in fear and deep shame in the caverns and the tunnels on this island. Uh, he was physically turning green from the stress. <coughs> this is because... On the ship ride over, uh, Luke contributed to the only uh, non-English speaking passenger's death. Uh, This passenger fell overboard and Luke contributed to that. Uh, Fortunately, when Luke arrived, he befriended a gentleman named Thomas who investigated and found that the passenger, Victor, uh, had went overboard and was alive. 
and he was okay, and the accident was not Luke's fault. Wow. Okay, so yeah. that was Luke's. Oh wait, that's not Luke's bio. That's uh, the green locomotive, Luke from Thomas the Train. Okay. Uh, which Luke was obsessed. I remember that episode. He gets knocked off the bridge. <laughs> Luke was obsessed yeah, with. Yeah. <laughs> As a child, Island of Sodor, uh, <laughs> Sir Topham Hat. I know this because I talked to his mom. <laughs> Did you talk to my mom? <laughs> Can I say right before the episode, we're picking up pizza, <laughs> and he goes, "My mom's name is Chris," and I'm like, "I know." Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't like, acknowledge yeah. it at all. I talked about liking drains. He did talk about liking drains. And yeah, yeah. We just thought it was the autism, huh? Yeah. That's weird. it's weird that I mixed those up. <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, I, got, I got scared from that show too as a kid. Well, yeah, it's a horrible show. Oh, yeah, show. all of the topics are like super adult. Well, they, yeah. they, they uh, like put a train in a tunnel and then brick him up. Yep. Rest in peace. Yeah, I can relate to that. <laughs> yeah. So let's see how obsessed Luke really was with Thomas the Train. And that's your mom's language, not ours. Right. Yeah. Obsessed. Did she yeah. actually write that? No, that okay, is the good. bio for Luke right. the Train. Yes. From I the episode that you, that you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, she wrote <laughs> that part. Yeah. Luke was obsessed with Thomas the Train. Yeah, I was. I think he owned every train, she I said. probably did. Yeah. yeah. That's uh, so good. So question one. Victor the Train, he did not speak uh, the native train language English for some reason. Wow. Uh, he spoke uh, Spanish. Okay. Uh, why is that? Is it multiple it, choice? Multiple it choice? is. Okay, yeah, okay. Uh, and luckily, Thomas the Train has such good lore... Does that have a lot of lore. It does have a lot of Are lore. Are any of these questions about the 2000 movie with Alec Baldwin? I can't tell you. Okay. That. <sighs> this uh, guy. It's a good one. This guy. Did Victor speak Spanish? Because Victor used to work at the Manuel de Cespeda sugar mill in Cuba. Okay. Uh, did he speak Spanish? Because Victor, a.k.a. Aguela Azteca, the Aztec Eagle, helped Mexican dictator Porfirio Diaz Famously laid the last tracks to the U.S. border. Uh, did Victor speak Spanish because he was born into child slavery? <laughs> and he helped build the Panama Canal by removing dirt until his bearings wore out. Okay. Or was did Victor speak Spanish because Victor was actually an orphan train sent down the Mississippi River in a basket uh, and then picked up by Spanish-speaking dentist in New Orleans, Louisiana? Here's the thing. All of these are so believable because I know how intense like the Thomas the Train universe right. is. Mm. I couldn't watch it as a kid. I wasn't allowed yeah, to. Yeah, cool. I watched so much of it. I, oh, it was we so know. intense. Yeah. Out. I, I'm, I'm going to guess D or 4 uh, for yep. Sent Down the River. I'll accept both. Adopted by a Spanish dentist. I'm not going to say dentists. that one Yeah. because I think it takes place around England. <laughs> okay. So Panama but Canal? This isn't fair, I don't uh, think, uh, is it? Mexican Sorry. dictator or Sugar Mill in Cuba. Uh, let's do Sugar Mill. Sugar Mill in Cuba. Okay, let me zoom in. It seems the most. Uh, that's the answer. No, oh, this is yeah. a setup. Uh, Victor spoke Spanish because he used to work for Manuel de Cespedes, Sugar Mill in Cuba. I wish I had a picture of them so I could. Yeah. One to zero. But can yeah. I say Josh, his last name is Mills, and in high school his nickname was Sugar Mills. So that's there is true. a kind of yeah. a similarity there. Uh, yeah. yeah, I can't give the details there. <laughs> uh, so... Of course, Luke was a green train. You know this. Come on. He's was pointing he your at, favorite? He's pointing at boy I Luke. Don't, I don't remember Luke. I thought Percy huh. was green. Well, I'm sure there were more. There was a thousand. <laughs> yeah, there was a thousand true. trains. I thought Percy There's was green. There's not a thousand I'm colors. Gonna, I'm going to look this up. Okay. Uh, another. Well, you can't look it up right now. That's I cheating. I a picture of it. Okay. Uh, another famous green train uh, is actually the Orange Blossom Special. That's right. I know that. This was a streamlined locomotive that went from New York to Florida around the 1930s. That's right. Uh, the bad kind of about this train, um, uh, it uh, wrecked Yeah. in Bay Lake, Florida Yeah. because of a bad bearing. Yeah. I don't remember this episode. Uh, yeah. No, it wasn't in that. Oh, that's okay. the bad about this Is OBS that train. That's episode. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the good... It was so beautiful, this train, before it wrecked, uh, that it inspired uh, what is called the Fiddler's National Anthem and has been covered by hundreds of musicians. Yes. This song. Yes. Uh, it was so popular that uh, legendary artist Johnny Cash That's right. mm -hmm. covered the song and named an album after it. That's right. And what what is that 
album called? I would love a um, uh, multiple, choice? <coughs> multiple choice. Multiple choice. No, I've been saying it the whole time. It's Orange, Orange Blossom, Blossom Express. Special. Orange Blossom Express. Yeah, Orange I'm Special. just making sure you guys pay attention because yeah. you're both just looking at I me. I zoned out. Dear <laughs> I. I zoned out. So Johnny Cash, um, the song was originally for a fiddle. Johnny yeah. Cash didn't play a fiddle. No. no. Uh, what did Johnny Cash uh, replace the fiddle with? Okay. In this song. Multiple choice? It is. Oh. Uh, did he replace it with two harmonicas and a saxophone? Mm-hmm. Did he replace it with a revolver and stomping of his own boots? That sounds mm. so incredible if that's true. Did he replace it with a banjo and a washboard? Ooh. Or me wearing Wait, corduroys? That's oh, what I like to say. Washboard is like me wearing corduroys yeah. when I get to run. Yeah, you do. <laughs> uh, did he replace it with a real train horn mm. and a violin? Or a lasso whip and some butter churning. Ooh. <sighs> so Johnny Cash said, nish nish on the fiddle. Right. Too much. Yeah. He said, I can't do that. I remember walking by my roommate's room in college and going, sounds like a lasso whip and butter churning in there. Well, I'm thinking. So I don't think it's that. I think it's going yeah. to be the. <laughs> What's that sound like? Can you replicate the sound? I can't. Yeah. Uh, family friendly show. I think <laughs> it's going to be um, the train whistle and uh, violin. I'll go banjo washboard. Banjo washboard. Okay, let me zoom in. I swear to God, if Luke's right, I quit. I'm so, mm. yeah. Oh, Johnny Cash actually replaced it with two harmonicas and a saxophone. Both wrong. Yes. If uh, I'm not right, yeah. nobody can be yeah. right. Hey, and that's what I say play. about the quiz. He would play those two harmonicas. At the same time? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's like he's like one really like horn on the cob. harmonica. Yeah. yeah. But, I mean, the way he did it, it was really yeah. cool. I, I will say this about Johnny Cash. Yeah. He was a man of many talents. And um, that song... Um, the only reason why I'm familiar with the song or the Orange Blossom Express is mm-hmm. because of Johnny Cash. Yeah. Like, I had no idea about the history of the train or mm-hmm. any of that. I just knew about the song. And so that's really interesting. The Fiddler's National Anthem. Yeah. I thought it was Fiddler on the Roof. I thought it was yeah. No. Well, you were close. You had the that's, F word. That's ex- yeah. yeah. Uh, so oddly enough, Johnny Cash um, and our guest Luke do have another connection. Okay. Besides trains. Really? Yeah. yeah. Johnny Cash wrote a song called City Jail where he states uh, here... here here are some lyric options. Okay. You you oh, pick it. Okay. Okay. So the, so the question does it is, to me? which one of these lyrics? It does. Rec- it okay. does. Which one's real? Is what we're finding. Yeah. About? Okay. Yeah. You'll know why it refers to you. Okay. okay. Uh, were the lyrics? I said, "What's that lady doing with purple hair?" Well, the badge said, "You're smart, Alec." And I said, "I ain't. I ain't. I'm just hungry." Okay. <laughs> or was it? I said, "What's that lady doing with purple hair? It looks like Play-Doh over there." A man start yelling, him or I will be jailing. <laughs> or did it say, uh, I said, what's that lady doing with purple hair? Standing there in her underwear. Old Jimmy gets to going, don't care about the wind blowing. <laughs> or was it, uh, I said, what's that lady doing with purple hair? She's just doing witchcraft. Lawman said, witchcraft? Making bacon all night. <laughs> Uh, which one are the real uh, Johnny Cash lyrics for <laughs> City I, Jail? Yes. <laughs> Please. I kept expecting the purple hair part to be changed. Uh, no, uh, yeah. the purple hair comes from when Luke was in eighth grade. He dyed I his hair. I did have my hair purple. Purple. Yeah. yeah. I found that out from your mom. <laughs> your mom said. I would have shown you this picture. Your mom said. Wait, were you both talking to my mom? <laughs> yeah. All week. <laughs> oh, this is why she she was like she's like, how can we watch? <laughs> Bro, uh, you can you read the last one again, please? Uh, yeah, I said, what's that lady doing? Purple hair? She's doing witchcraft. Law man said witchcraft? Question mark. Making bacon all night. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna vote for that one. Okay. Like uh, wait. <laughs> you want to vote? <laughs> These lyrics. <laughs> you want to repeat? You want me to repeat? Can those, like, sorry. Can you say the last one more yeah. time? No, let me try to say it. What's that lady doing <laughs> over there? Purple purple hair. Do it in Johnny Cash voice, please. Well, what's that lady doing over there? Purple hair. A witchcraft, lawman said. Baking all night. Right? right? That's Real it. Real close, yeah. That's Johnny Cash. Yeah. some verbs and nouns, but I'd say I, you're... I, I'm going to go with D, the bacon answer. That's really good, bro. I'll stick with D. Okay, let me zoom in here, Ron. Oh. No, it's the first one. I said, what's that lady doing, purple hair? Well, the badge said, you're smart, Alec. And I said, no, I ain't. I'm just hungry. That's a Johnny Cash that's lyric? That's a real lyric. Oh, yeah. he's that's a psychopath. <laughs> Bro, oh, I, God. Here's, I love the man, but dude, I, at what yeah, point in wrong. having Sorry. a platform where you were allowed to just make up stuff and just say yeah, whatever you want? I don't even want. know what that I, is. The bacon thing? Bro, please, I will tattoo that on my body. I love that so much. Uh, it's that was so written special. by Jordan Blaylock. Yeah. In the house. Yeah. Where's he at? I Jordan, think he left. come on. Yeah. No, he's right oh, over okay, there. Okay, good. Thank God. Jordan, come on. Oh, Our so. writers make us 
pretty man. Who, yeah. That's it's up yeah. to support Jordan. your writers. Love you, man. Support our Bless writers. You, bro. Yeah, he's not paid either. Yeah. So he's on strike actually so, right yeah. now. Yeah. 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 With it, so with he's, so he's in scab. unison. So <laughs> so purple haired monsters. Okay. That was the right. theme of that question. Yeah, and also the next. Come on, uh, purple hair monster, much like a monster found in Bay Lake, Florida. Okay, mm. near Disney. Some people think, like myself, it could be the person that died on the OBS train derailment. Okay. Back in 1949. That it's like a ghost or something. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Others think uh, it was most likely cre- created by the Disney Corporation as a way to promote the 1983 opening of Journey to the Imagination in Epcot. Wow. But who mm. knows? No one does. I do, actually. I think I okay. Yeah, well, I Josh wrote, knows. I wrote it. Yeah. <coughs> Josh knows. Yeah. In this ride, the riders, they fly up next to a vessel Okay. Yeah. Uh, that has a pilot, a red-bearded man. He's okay. in a blue suit, top hat. Yeah. He introduces himself as the Dream Finder. Okay. Uh, That's my he, nickname. Yeah, the Dream Finder. Exactly. Yeah, That's is. where the tie in happens. Yeah. Uh, he says, two tiny wings, eyes big and yellow, horns of a steer, but a lovable fellow. Wow. That's wow. Luke, basically. Uh, from yeah. head to toe, he's royal purple pigment, and there, voila. And then he says his name. Yeah. The, guys, na- the name of the monster. The name of the monster. Okay, multiple choice. Multiple choice. Live Fellas, stream, help us out. What's the name of the purple dragon mascot at Epcot's Land of Ima- Imagination? Okay. Is it Spark? Hmm? Mm. Is yeah. it Figment? Mm. Is it Bop Bop McGop? Oh. Okay. Is it Destiny Porkchop? Okay. Oh, okay, wait a minute. Or is it Mark? Oh. Driscoll? No, nope, just, just Mark. <laughs> All right. Wahlberg? Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, we want to see the live streams trying to help us. I, oh. I here's the thing. The whole I'm a, can I just can I just preface something? Yes. The whole thing sounds like liberal propaganda. Right. Can I start yeah. there? Well, yeah. That's the so Disney the live part. stream. So so our listeners know where I stand. Mm-hmm. But I I with that being said, it's B figment. Uh, it's figment. Okay. Let me zoom in here. Destiny pork chop isn't it? Uh, it's figment. Yes. I thought it was gonna be a grimace question. Yeah. Let's no. go. No. no, no okay. No. So are we tied now? I don't think so. I, I think lost, still I two track. to one. Okay, I'm winning. I think no matter yeah. who wins, we all lose. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. I said that about World War Three. <laughs> yeah, you did. Okay, so Figment, uh, really popular. Yeah. Uh, a blogger, I didn't note his blog or his name, but I'll quote him here. <laughs> uh, I was there on the day they released the Figment popcorn bucket. Oh, crazy. It was an absolute frenzy. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. At one point, the line to purchase this bucket was over eight hours long. Really? This is true. Yeah. The Figment popcorn bucket was the first of its kind, and diehard fans had to have it. Now, fellas, eight hours is a long time. I wouldn't wait for anything for eight hours. Yeah, but it's not as long as 18 hours, am I right? Who waited 18 hours for something? According to Luke's (laughs) mom, Luke won the Lego Death Star in a contest and spent the next 18 hours assembling the 4,000-piece puzzle. That's It was probably more than 18 hours. I think she's mixing up. During COVID, I bought the Lego Millennium Falcon. Here we go. And that took me uh, 17 hours. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> and okay. well, uh, I, uh, yeah. On episode 231, Luke called his mom a liar. Wow. Yeah, That's Mr. crazy. Okay, yeah. Wow. Okay, so of those, one of those 4,000 pieces that Luke fondled was <laughs> another Luke. Uh, that Luke was Luke Skywalker. Come on, yeah, my hero. There were, there were so, two Luke Skywalkers in there. What? You yeah. got a bonus one? Yeah. Yeah. So what I did. There uh, were three. To incorporate. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Sorry. Three. This just, guy I'm standing up going. in the studio yeah, right now. Well, there were four. Mem- there were three Luke Skywalkers. <laughs> okay. I'm just getting memories. I'm sorry. Yeah. So it was I, the only time I was I happy wanted in my to life. incorporate uh, the past with the future. So I asked Come AI on. to write a modern Luke Skywalker story. Uh, with the facts that he knew about our friend Luke. Wow. Uh, and so he says, um, Man, they call it like up. zero to hero. Buckle up. Uh, they said, uh, a boy that ran a Minecraft summer camp <laughs> three or four years in a row <laughs> while he was in high school. Is AI? He, he also became a stage director in yeah. that high school. And at the end, he becomes homecoming king. I did. His senior Come on. Year. That's not AI. That's history. That's Luke's mom again. Yeah. To end the quiz... Uh, I'll actually ask another Luke Skywalker question, so you may have the lead here. I wasn't allowed to watch it. Uh, this Luke Pretty Skywalker um, goes by an alias. Okay. Obviously, Luke Skywalker, but also Uncle Luke. Okay. Oh. Uh, and which I asked you guys to study. Member of Two Live Crew I and love founder crew. of Uncle Luke's Freak Fest VHSs. <laughs> 
You can imagine what's on those. Oh, I, I don't have to. I, I remember. Can't imagine. I remember We're going to play every a clip single frame. for yeah. you right here. Go when ahead. I make the video, I'm going to play a clip right here of yeah. Uncle Luke's Freak Fest. Okay. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so nasty. Okay. <laughs> I'm Look married. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Uh, so, Uncle Luke, uh, he's known worldwide for contributing some of the nastiest lyrics from the early 90s. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so much so that I believe it, it went up to the Supreme Court. They were fighting for freedom of speech. Oh, I vaguely uh, remember that, actually. Thank you. One yeah. unique moment in, in his career, uh, he actually put into a song called Do the Bart Man. Do the Bart Man. I think I know this song. Hopefully. It reached number 76 mm. on the U.S. Billboard. That kind of sucks. And Seven unlike away. some of the other singles on the Band in the USA album, yep, uh, especially the song Me So Horny, Oh uh, yeah! Do the Bart Man had virtually no controversial lyrics. Really, virtually over me so horny had no controversial lyrics. Yeah, Do the Bart Man was less controversial. Yeah, surprisingly. And here's that. I, I, I'm sorry, I almost got on my high horse. Yeah, the Supreme Court saying what you can and can't say in a song is the most bogus bullcrap yeah, I've there, ever yeah. heard in my entire yeah. life. I'm sorry, that's well, so embarrassing. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, but go ahead, Do the Bart Man. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah, guys, which one of these are not? Actual lyrics from the song Do the Bart Man. Let's go. Okay. Did you see how, I'm sorry, his face, this is why you should pay for Patreon. Luke's face lighting up when he said, Be so horny. <laughs> it was the funniest thing I've ever seen. He's so excited. Yeah, it's my, it was my top played song last year. Yes. Jeez. Come on. Okay. okay. No, sorry. What, which one of these lyrics are not the actual lyrics? Gotcha. Okay. First choice Homer was yelling Bart. Mom was too because I put mothballs in the beef stew. Uh, B. Yeah. Uh, yo, hey, what's happening, dude? I'm the guy with the rep for being rude, terrorizing people wherever I go. It's not intentional. I'm just keeping the flow. That's not bad. That's pretty good. That's if pretty you, good. If you wrote okay. that, I'd be impressed. Uh, was it C? Fixing test scores to get the best scores, dropping banana peels all over the floors. I'm the kid that made the delinquency in art, last name Simpson. First, first name, name Bart. Bart. That's so good, man. Or was it? I'm skateboarding and school blows. Prank calling place called Moe's. Stealing candy left and right. Avoiding Nelson because he wants a fight. Oh, that's good. That's good, man. These no, I, I think this is lyrics. great. Those are what great. an artist this yeah. guy is. Uh, this question is actually worth 100 points. Who wrote this one? Is, uh, is it you or Jordan? Oh, no. Well, he was a contributor. Okay, okay. Yeah. Jordan. Of Whoa, the what? song, the hit song, Do the Bart Man, which one was not a lyric? Oh, it was not. Mm -hmm. Oh, gosh. Three of four of these are the actual lyrics of the song. What was the first one again? No, I... I'm, Homer I'm, was I'm, yelling, Bart, mom was too, because I put mothballs in the beef stew. And the cadence may be off. Oh, you said mothballs? Yeah. That's oh, not what I heard the first what time. What did I hear? And I was... No, I don't want to say it. Meatballs. I, I thought I was going to have to like bleep some stuff, and now okay. I'm good to go. I'm yeah. just really excited about that. I, can, I don't even see. I think timing. A. I think A is the one that wasn't in the song. I think that's the only one that felt a bit off to me. Did it? What was the second one? Just give me the first line. Uh, yo, hey, what's happening, okay, dude? Okay, second one. <laughs> okay. Hey, yo, what's, what's happening, dude? Okay. That's as hip hop as any line I've ever heard in my entire <laughs> life. Know. No way a white guy wrote that, dude. Okay. Impossible. Okay, let me zoom in here. Um, if either of you get it right, you win. Okay. If you both get it wrong, Luke wins. Okay. Okay. okay let me zoom in here. No, the fake lyric oh. was "I'm skateboarding and school blows." Oh. Luke wins, baby. Let's Luke go. Luke wins. Congratulations, on top, on top, on top. man. You Come did on. it, baby. That was a good lyric, though. Yeah, it was a good lyric. Great lyric. lyric. I, 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 I had to listen to it a lot to yeah. find like the flow. Yeah. yeah, and then that's what I came. Would up you with. say, in your professional agnostic opinion, though, was it naughty enough to get to the Supreme Court for real? Like, do you uh, mean, not do the Bart man, but me so horny? Yes. Okay, gotcha. That's cool. Ever since I was a little Protestant boy, mm -hmm. uh, I've loved telling stories. You guys know this. We built a career on it. Um, and most of the time, I would open my stories up with a rhyme. Okay. Okay. Uh, and After hearing 230 of them, I can say that's a lie. Okay. I'm glad you said that because in my notes, I said I've never done it on the show. Oh, okay. Wow. Uh, and I think it's because I got bullied so much in like primary school yeah. for like rhyming so much. Oh, oh, yeah. You're the rhyming little. Yeah, rhyme yeah. King. Rhyme King. Get out they of would here. say, You're so cute, Rhyme King. Yeah. They would I don't say think that was Handsome and strong. No, it would make me cry all the time. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're probably, you're probably yeah. going to have a big podcast someday. They would say to me, <laughs> like, What's a podcast? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's an audio media. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I would have like a little rhyme or a riddle when I tell my stories and stuff. Yeah, and so please. 
uh, whether I was hanging out with my uncles at their parade or like, uh, mm-hmm. you know, spending the night with one of my four grandmas, I would always be telling stories with rhymes. And so I wanted to ask permission from Josh. No. Um, since. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good night, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't think so. I think we want to hear it. I think we got to got to hit the crest of the 250 mark before we let yeah. you just flow. Don't you dare. I just want to open the story with a rhyme tonight. Can I please say one rhyme and then I this won't do it again? Haiku. Do me and Josh get one rhyme with the rest of the podcast? You got at the end. I feel like I had a few in my part. So no, yeah, he had a lot of rhymes. Okay, I have one rhyme to open up my story go. just for once. Yeah. Episode 231. Here's my rhyme. Here's the story of Buddy McKay, who was governor of Florida for 24 days. That's pretty cute. That's I just think. a lot. That's just a sentence that rhymed. I just summarized the story for people who want to turn the episode off. I'm done here. Buddy McKay was a governor for yeah. 24 days. How's he do that? Okay, let me start from the beginning. I think we're going to find out. He I was born so. on March 22nd, 1933 in a small oh. town called Ocala, Florida. Uh, there's more horses than people in Ocala. That's a not true, for long. Not for long. They're eating, the people are eating their way Horse to the meat just became yeah. legal because of DeSantis. Yeah. Um, so really? take yeah. that to the voting booth. And you can't buy a car directly from a manufacturer. That's now. right. Uh, oh, so is. Buddy McKay grew up in a family of farmers, but they were mainly citrus farmers. And so what a lot of folks don't realize is that Florida's industry was initially built on the backs of citrus farmers. I um, can see that. That's mm-hmm. kind of how we made our money in the 1800s. And so before tourism was booming, yeah. um, before real estate um, kind of changed, you know, our state's landscape, uh-huh. um, citrus was king. And so Ocala was central to this. This is before swamp meat took off. No swamp meat. Okay. This is before that. You know about that. Right? So, uh, yeah. so Buddy and McKay's family was front and center of like the citrus like uh, brokering. They were the ones who had the land. Mm-hmm. They were the ones that kind ah. of uh, were doing the farming. They were down to earth, good old Florida people. And so Buddy knows this his entire life. He works the farm goes to school, and when he graduates high school, he joined the Air Force and then comes back to the Sunshine State to mm. obtain his law degree at the University of Florida, mm. Um, mm. which we're, we're neutral on. We don't have an opinion. Yeah, on yeah. University of Florida or yeah. lawyers? Uh, both. Okay. Yeah. We, have, we, have, we have great lawyer, Nathan. Yeah. Um, if they're for us, then we like them. Right. Yes, same with cops. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Uh, uh, so anyways, uh, while at the university, Buddy was elected to the University of Florida Hall of Fame and he served on the board okay. as well. While he was at the university, That's he gets sick. elected to the, to the Hall of Fame. That's did he teach Minecraft during the summer? I don't yeah, know. I don't think he did. But okay. I feel like they're definitely, I don't know. That's a flex, dude. Yeah. How? Like you're on campus and you're like, hey, you seen the Hall of Fame lately? Like, uh, Yeah, my picture. I'm on there, uh, yeah. right? Which is pretty cool. Um, which, by the I way, feel he, like you need a lifetime of something yeah. to get in the Hall of Fame. Nah, Buddy McKay. No. He, I tell you what. He, so he excelled academically yeah. and like physically in sports and all that stuff. He's lucky that we weren't there. At that's that true. Time. That's we would have stomped yeah. him out. Yeah. We weren't there, so if he's there fine. Was, if there was a Lego building competition, oh, no, oh man, Lukey would have tore yeah. it up. Eighteen hours, purple yeah. hair, just walking. Yeah, no, okay, so uh, so buddy, uh, he's what's fascinating about him is he's one of the rare occasions where you can look at politicians like their voting record, the way they live their life, and you can see a direct correlation to their childhood. Okay, um, like his values shine through his entire career, gotcha. which is actually yeah. I think mm-hmm. really rare. And so what I mean by that, in his case specifically, is that Buddy was a champion for the environment. Um, Because he was raised in the heart of the citrus industry, he understood intimately the ramifications of big businesses coming into Florida and disrupting our ecosystems and subsequently our way of life. Mm, And and, and I think, like, why we are kind of passionate about the story of Buddy McKay is because it's kind of our vibe. Mm -hmm. Like, when it comes to Florida, we want to protect— I mean, I'm freshly passionate. Right. right. I I'm mean, I'm passionate. just learning. Yeah. So, 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 so Josh used to be super pro draining the Everglades. Yeah. Too yeah. much water down there. Setting, setting the forces on fire. Mm-hmm. Recently, he's like, love the ecosystem in yeah. Florida. Yeah. yeah. Big fan now. Big fan that, now. You got that big check from. Yeah. Big, big nature. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. From the Florida Board of Tourism. Yeah. One of our sponsors. Shout out. Bless you. Uh, so here's the thing. Um, uh, so there was about a 10 year period after university mm-hmm. where a lot of folks were watching Buddy McKay and going like, what's this guy going to do? Because he, he made a name for himself. A lot of perverts watching Buddy McKay. Yeah. Truman's show. Yeah, yeah, right. Just like, what's he going to do today? What's he up to? He's trying to get a newspaper. What's, he going, what's going yeah. on? <laughs> but live? but uh, <laughs> honestly, though, people were like, this guy's up to something. Like, he's yeah. going to do something big. Yeah. Like, it was, it was one of those reputations. And so... I, I thought... I thought I Sorry to interrupt, but I thought the same thing when I heard about Shonda Rhimes. That's right. I'm like, she's going to do something She's big. probably going to write a lot of TV shows. Yeah. And then what did she Based write? on books. And Best, yeah. Right, you get it. Bridgerton. Uh, so she also wrote um, that show about the doctors and a bunch of made-up stuff. What was that called? Uh, the doctors. All the doctors were sleeping with each other and stuff, that TV show. She wrote that Dr. One. Oz. Yep. 
Uh, so it became a little more clear uh, what Buddy McKay was going to do in 1968 uh, when he ran for and won um, a seat in the Florida House of Representatives. Nice. Wow. Good stuff. Uh, so his first seat uh, was in the Florida House of Representatives. He went on to win a seat in the Florida Senate, and then he spent the next 14 years fighting tooth and nail for environmental causes in All the state right, of Florida. All right, finally. Like, yeah. I mean, honestly, like a front-line front yeah. politician, like yeah. really doing work against big business. And so at this point, he had spent the last 25 years of his life um, trying to manage Florida's like gargantuan growth mm-hmm. while preserving, you know, the things that make our state great, which is like the beaches and the Everglades yeah. and, and the like. So by the time 1990 rolled around, uh, it came time for people to choose a running mate for Lot and Childs. Okay, so this guy, mm-hmm. Lot and Childs, is running for governor. And this is how the elections were decided in the 90s. Um, the running mate was on the um, primary ticket. We're already in the 90s? We're in the 90s now. Wow. And so uh, Lot and Childs, he's running for governor, and the people get to decide who his running mate is. Well, that's scary. He doesn't get to decide who's going to be his partner. Huh. Okay, mm-hmm. like when, what's his name, chose Sarah Palin. Right. So yeah. that was um, McCain's like kind of yeah. like Obama. Yeah, McCain chose Palin. Oh, right, yeah. from like old age, like dementia. Yeah, he chose Palin. Yeah. So then this way, the people chose their running mate. Well, that seems mm-hmm. like the right way. Uh, ideally, in yeah. democracy, right, Luke? I think so. Well, the people love Buddy McKay because he was always one of those politicians again who put his, you know, his 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 fight where his passions were, yep. which is the environment. And so when Lot and Childs gets a nomination to be Florida's governor, the people chose Buddy McKay as mm-hmm. his running mate. Which so is, w- did he even want to be? I think so, but I, oh. but but in the sense of like he wasn't campaigning for it actively, it was more so like it was his civic duty. Like he oh, felt like wow. it'd be fun if he woke up, was checking the newspaper, and just yeah. like oh. it's like uh, the yeah. headlines like running mate, foot fetishes at Georgia <laughs> University, <laughs> oh, no, and then beneath it, it's like running Buddy mate. McKay, yeah. running mate of Florida uh, governor. Yeah, uh, so uh, the pair won the election in a landslide, and according to the New York Times. Um, Buddy McKay went on to be the most effective lieutenant governor in Florida's history. Oh, I like that name, lieutenant governor. Yeah. I know. I it, like it, it better than governor. stronger, yeah. actually. Yeah. Yeah. Lieutenant governor. Yeah. Right? So a little salute. Least. Yeah. Uh, so here's this citrus kid who develops a passion for combating big businesses out of respect for the environment while also understanding that big business is responsible for Florida's economic growth. So okay. that, that's such a, it, it's a hard balance to maintain, yeah. and yeah. Buddy was always like kind of front and center, um, like fighting that. And so um, Lot and Childs and Buddy McKay, they won re-election four years later. Uh, and so by 1998, um, Lot and Childs had reached his term limits. Okay. He had already run twice. Ah, and okay. so usually kind of the vice president, yeah. lieutenant governor, yeah. they go. And the vote is happening in 98? That's right. So he doesn't have to deal with Y2K. He doesn't have to deal with Y2K. No. Well, yeah. He's got two years to prep. Two years to prep for Y2K. For his personal Y2K. That's right. Yeah. And so Buddy goes, you know mm-hmm. what? I think it's... My turn to run. For okay, the, as lieutenant, he uh, can. As yeah. lieutenant, I is now my turn to step up, and cool. I'm going to run for governor. Uh, so at the end of their eight-year kind of run, Buddy decides to run for governor himself. Um, but the nominee uh, on the other side um, happened to be from one of the most powerful families in American history. Um, it was a man named Jeb Bush. Oh. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Please mm. clap. So Je- please clap. Right, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Uh, so Jeb Bush, um, My guy. six foot four, shaped like a potato. Name not even Jeb, right? I don't think so. Like I was like Mr. Jorge or something. I think it's Joseph Ebenezer Scrooge. Bush. Yeah, yeah, something like that. Bush. Uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so Jeb had the name recognition, but he also yep. had one mm-hmm. of the largest financial war chests that Florida had ever seen. I mean, yeah, this I'm guy had, it was a political machine that Florida had never, ever seen before. Mm-hmm. Um, and so this is what Buddy McKay is going up against when That's he decides to run for governor. Yeah. Buddy McKay hates big machines. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And right. he hates oh my gosh, and hates bushes. Yeah. No, uh, he loves bushes. <laughs> loves bushes, but the natural kind. It was really bad time. Uh, right. Yeah, it doesn't yeah. like synthetic. Right. Uh, and so well, they're uh, Democrats, right? Childs. And Charles Buddy McKay. and McKay, the Democrats, instead of the Bushes, were Republicans. Mm. And so that's kind of the head-to-head happening here is Buddy McKay is going up against Jeb Bush. Mm. Um, Jeb. And because of the name recognition, because of the money, Jeb wins. Naturally. Uh, Jeb wins. Uh, he becomes, he becomes the governor-elect. And so immediately after the election, Buddy McKay and his wife, you know, they decide to go on vacation. Of course. Mm-hmm. And his children were the ones to kind of convince him to do this in the interim because they're like, hey, look, you've spent the last 33 years in public service. Yep. 
you just had a hard fought campaign where you lost against a juggernaut of a of yeah, a war opponent. criminal, right? Yeah. War criminal, yeah. terrible family. Yeah, uh, yeah. related uh, yeah. funded the Nazis. Actually, their grandfather did. I That's a true story. That Look it up. With it's Henry absolutely Ford. insane. Um, and so here's the thing: uh, it's a hard fought campaign. Let's go on vacation. Yeah, um, please. And so Buddy yeah. and his wife they decide during the interim to go on vacation. Now, just to, get, to kind of explain something for the listeners, um, the interim period is when um, the current administration, mm-hmm. uh, Lawton Childs, transitions everything to the incoming administration, Jeb Bush. Okay, that's called okay. the interim. Um, so, and but he takes a bunch of papers and hides them in his bathroom. That's yeah, right. With a chandelier. That's <laughs> right. You get it. You know how it works. Thank you. Uh, Relevant. Yeah, so uh, Buddy's on vacation in Boston. Oh, he went to Boston. Okay. Where, where, where did you vacation? That's what I was wondering. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and so uh, he and his wife are having a nice dinner. They return um, to their hotel room, mm. and they notice uh, the red light blinking on their hotel phone. Okay. Ooh. Okay. Oh, so yeah. they come in, um, uh, and the message says uh, that Buddy needs to return to Florida immediately because unexpectedly Lot and Charles has died, and Buddy is now the governor of Florida. Well, hello. That's uh, a call. Uh, yeah. So... At 12.30 a.m. I mean, I'm sorry for the yes. death. Right. Yeah. It's uh, tough because you want to celebrate. Well, I, I want, and I'm going to get to that because okay. Buddy, Buddy, he handles it gracefully. Uh, at 12.30 a.m. in the middle of the night, he flies back to Tallahassee. 65-year-old Buddy McKay was sworn in as Florida's mm. 42nd governor for the 24 days remaining in wow. Lyon Child's term. Wow. Okay. Until and, you hand it to Jeb. Jeb. Right. That, and it's got to be so, like, honestly, like, it's a hard pill to swallow. I've got 24 days as governor. That's a, yeah. that's like a movie. That's like well, a, for that's sure. Like a yeah. teen has 24 days left this summer. 100. percent It's, it's wow. a made for Disney television yeah. movie. Yeah. He's yeah. gonna throw the biggest party ever. He definitely is. Let's see what happens. Wow. No, please. I'm just kidding. Oh, okay. uh, no. Uh, in a speech the following morning at sunrise, Buddy said the following: "There is no great joy in this. Uh, sad as this time is, and even as we mourn the death of this great man, this is also a time." To celebrate the gentle and lasting ways he's changed our state and the lives of its people. He went on to say, I'll miss the governor. I'll miss my friend. Oh, um, and so, so he has, now he has 23 days because he wasted a day writing a yeah. speech. Writing a speech. Get with it, buddy. Uh, over the next 23 days, what can he do? <laughs> what can he do? Yeah. Governor McKay granted six pardons to female prisoners who were wrongfully accused. Mm-hmm. Uh, he negotiated. What's up with Lawton? Why wasn't Childs yeah. doing that? We're going to get to that, actually. Oh, okay. Uh, so uh, he, he, he uh, granted six pardons to female prisoners who were um, uh, wrongfully accused. He negotiated laws protecting the Florida Everglades, uh, and oh, those man. laws are still intact, by the way. Oh, really? um, and he appointed the first African-American woman to the Florida Supreme Court. Um, wow. Yeah. Now, here's the thing. Uh, so Buddy became governor on December 12th, 1998. He returned to civilian life just over three weeks later on January 5th, 1999, and so as a uh, normie, as just as I mean, nothing as yeah. nothing I, like you, you're governor for three weeks and then you hand the keys to Jeb Bush Ew. and you just like walk out and go. Jeb's now, got no experience. Jeb's got a daddy and a grandfather who's a war criminal. Like yeah. that's literally it. Um, turn off the show if you don't like it, bro. That's just the truth. Get him. The, uh, all you all said was daddy. He's got a daddy. Yeah, I know. And uh, grandpa that's a war criminal. Exactly. Uh, so h- here's the thing. Um, it's fascinating because this time in Florida's history is what a lot of folks believe actually played a substantial role in the direction of the entire country. Because if you recall, around this time, um, buddy lost to Jeb Bush, whose brother – was then presidential candidate George W. Bush, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. who won the presidential election mm. because of Florida. He mm. won it by 537 oh votes. Yep. Mm. So they have a recount, and the recount was presided over by his brother, mm. uh, and he won true. by 537 uh, yeah. votes. This was a lot. That's the slimmest and exceptionally small margin. Yeah. I had that many people at my birthday party last year. It's true. That's like More. the smallest More. amount yeah. of votes you can imagine. This guy wins the presidency of the United States uh, no, because his true. brother oversaw the recount. I'm going to leave that up to our listeners. I'm telling you, bro, if it not smells true. like... A skunk. It's a freaking skunk. Yeah. yeah. Um, that was a very polite way to put it. Thank you. They're all you working. They're all working. Oh, there, so uh, <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Uh, you can't be. Yeah. So so nonetheless, um, we do want to honor um, our Florida man, Buddy McKay, tonight because who he's at the age of 90 now. He's still advocating for environmental causes in our state. Wow. Which man. Blows my mind, man. You know from Yes, and, and and like from like start to finish, this guy's always fought for like what makes Florida Florida, which is like 
the citrus farms and like the mm-hmm. beaches and, and all that stuff. And so I, I wanted to end uh, the story with a quote from Buddy. He said this last year, actually, in the Ocala Times, and I find it cool. very interesting. Um, he said um, we were in, when he was asked about his time as, as governor and lieutenant governor. Yeah. He says we were large, largely successful in reforming and modernizing Florida's outdated government. But somehow we never succeeded in balancing environmental protection with the desire to stimulate growth and economic development. In many respects, this is the story of the paradox of Florida. It is all the more fascinating because no one knows yet how it will end. Wow. wow. Which strong. I, I got a little bored in the middle. I know. But I but picked he it up. Strong, <laughs> <mostly>. <laughs> he finished probably. strong. But it is. I get it. That, that I, is I, the I complication. That's the complication. He wrote a book. Okay. And and that's the complication Call of them. Florida. Yeah. Is the big like the big business like it funds the state like it's this yeah. giant mm-hmm. juggernaut of, of of an economic mm-hmm. um, you know uh, wheelhouse, but a lot of those things also destroy what makes Florida beautiful and yeah. great to begin with. So it's 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 a hard thing to govern, um, but I do love it when someone puts their money where their mouth is and they practice what they preach. And and Buddy McKay and we, mm-hmm. and we don't advocate for politicians. In fact, we rip them apart on both sides of the fence. Yes. And and we've gotten crapped on by the MAGA crowd and the you know the the far left crowd. And and, and at the end of the day, we tend to stick up for Floridians. Yep. And I think Buddy McKay kind of has that track record of like, hey, like. I just want Florida to be beautiful yeah. and I want it to be mm-hmm. original and I don't want you to build a mall in the Everglades. You know what I mean? Like yeah, that, how progressive can you be? Like we don't want to destroy something that's like thousands and thousands of years old. Get him. Um, but I think he's a wonderful dude. He's 90 years old now. So yeah. his family, uh, I hope I'm 90, man. I'm still Those fighting. Three kisses. It. That means a lot for me. Yeah. I only give two. Usually I give three to my wife, Jesus and buddy McKay. Three kiss salute. Come on. Three kiss salute. Good. Speaking of salutes, Luke was called on a film doing a really questionable salute at a birthday party. No, I'm just kidding. Oh yeah. No, I, no Luke, you've <laughs> yeah. uh, been a, a glorious guest tonight, um, but you're yeah, not a, you're not a guest in our lives. You're a permanent um, fixture. fixture. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just no, a, we have a, a fixture of you. Uh, yeah, it's yeah. a life size. Uh, go ahead and wheel it out if we can. <laughs> Whoa! Oh, oh my God! It. This thing is massive. Put the clothes on it. Oh, for God. goodness gracious! It's so bright. Is that marble? Uh, what would you? Say? <laughs> It's diamonds, actually. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What would you say, Luke, has been the highlight of your life in the last ten years? And I have a part two to that coming on. Okay, uh, uh, coming. I think coming on the show. Wow, it's great. Uh, uh, this is he's so polite. Yeah. My fourth time on the mic. Yep, uh, I lost count. Episode two hundred. Okay. Oh, that's right. The bonus. Oh, yeah. The bonus. Yep. The bonus. The jokes. The jokes. The now. N- number four. The now. And then, what's your favorite uh, quote? Uh, by Sojourner Truth. Mm. By who? Sojourner 